what's up guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing great and welcome back to this new episode in this video i'm going to review a fragrance which is already hyped it's already famous a lot of people are already talking about it and a lot of my subscribers my followers have asked me to review this perfume and here i'm talking about none other than rasasi's hawas eyes so in this video i'm going to review this perfume i'm going to tell you that how this perfume actually smells and then we are going to compare it with the original with the og the real bad boy hawas so let's start a review and as always we will start with the presentation first so you'll get this perfume in this box the box is very similar to the original one to the old one the only difference is the color here this box is lighter in color and it's more brighter with metallic finish and they have added a word ice here on the box other than that everything else is same we'll find the logo for a saucy on the top some ingredient details in the back nothing on the side and then in the bottom you will find some more ingredient details in the batch code manufacturing date etc and by the way my bottle is made in august 2023 so uh, this is the box very similar to the original one to the old one and now let me show you the bottle and once again the bottle is very similar to the original one and here we go you'll find the name of the perfume here hawas eyes the logo of rasasi very smooth and curvy sides nothing on the back nothing on the sides nothing the bottom just this one sticker which is very common and here the difference is in cap in the original one the cap was metallic gray a gunpowder kind of metallic here in this case the cap is white and matte it's not uh, chromatic and then you will find the difference in colors here it's a transparent bottle with this purple color of juice in the case of Hawas eyes you can see the juice color here you can see the difference here it's bright purple on the other hand here the juice color is a little bit darker violet type of shade and you will find a gradient on the bottle which starts from a darker shade and moves towards the uh, transparency on the top it becomes more transparent otherwise the bottle of the shape is exactly same as you can see here presentation everything is same except the cap color and the gradient and the color of juice so now let's talk about the fragrance so let me tell you that how actually hawas smells let me give you a uh, small brief description and introduction i have already reviewed this perfume you can check my review on my channel if you are interested uh, let me give you a recap here so here this perfume how was for him actually i have already sprayed it on uh blotter paper here so here this is an aquatic fruity bubblegummy type of perfume uh, with some green notes some sweet notes and a very beautiful note of ambergris which makes it more aquatic and more oceanic a very bright and beautiful type of scent and it gives you that freshness and sweetness and the balance of freshness and sweetness is amazing a very nice and amazing scent that's why this perfume is very famous and now let's talk about how was for him ice so here uh instead of having a cool kind of feel you know this is in fact on the opposite side this is more heavy more intense and more sweet it's less aquatic less oceanic and more on the sweeter side the dna is same it's very similar to the original one uh, the only difference is around you can say 20 to 25 percent on the top otherwise the dna is almost similar on the first sniff you will know that this is something very similar to hawas the only difference here is you will get a lot of sweet fruits on the top in the original one there was a very beautiful note of apple the same thing is going on here you will get a beautiful note of apple here but with added sweetness just to give you an idea that how this perfume actually smells if you have ever experienced Mugler's Amen or if you have tried Paco Rabanne's Excess or JPG's Lebo this perfume is going in that kind of direction just take the original DNA of Hawas and just add something like a Mugler's Amen on the top of it so it makes it more dark more dense more heavy and more sweet otherwise both of these perfumes are 
very similar and now what are the main differences here in both of these perfumes so first of all how was original how was for him is more versatile this is a scent which can be used in any kind of scenario you can use this perfume in your office in your gym in your sports activities on your date almost all kind of scenarios can be covered with this perfume but here in the case of Hawa's eyes this is not as versatile as the original one uh, this is a best option if you're going on a date if you are going for clubbing because this is more sweet if you have ever experienced afnan's 9 pm or jpg's ultra male it got that kind of vibe so a perfect scent for clubbing for dates and for cold weather this perfume can be used in all year round in all kind of season all kind of weather but here Hawa's eyes is going to give you best experience in colder weather so maybe that's why they said it ice because you have to use it when the weather is ice cold when the season is cold so these are few differences here which i have noticed more fresher more aquatic more sweet more dense and more intense dna is very similar it's same and now uh, let's talk about the other aspects of this perfume so before we start with presentation gender etc i got few questions on my mind the first question which came to my mind is is it a disappointment so for collectors or crazy people like us or if you are a connoisseur then yes you may be a little bit disappointed uh, with the scent profile uh, but for mango people for general public this is going to be a hit people are going to love it this is a crowd pleaser a scent of people people are going to love it i have tested this perfume in my office for around a week uh, like five working days and trust me each and every one have asked me that which perfume i'm wearing because this dna is very common it's crowd pleaser it's sweet and the weather is getting a little bit colder here so for the people this is going to be love this is going to be a hit people are going to love it a pure crowd pleaser kind of designer scent and will you get compliment with this perfume yes this is going to be a compliment magnet people are going to ask you what you are wearing and they're going to compliment you and now what's my opinion in my opinion to be very fair i was not expecting something extravagant or something very crazy from the whole of Rassasi when it comes to uh, this DNA uh, as a flanker of Hawas to be very fair uh, but I was not even expecting something like this because uh, it failed to hit that mark I think Rassasi can make it a little bit more and much better they can make it a little bit more creative but it smells good it can get you compliment you will be smelling great people will be loving it so mission accomplished so the next question is do you have to buy it do you really need to buy it so in my opinion both of these perfumes are great you can try both of them by yourself and you can choose as per your liking uh, i have shared my opinion with you now it's all up to you and now let's talk about uh, the other aspects let's start with the performance first so performance wise this is great same as the original i was both of these scents are very long lasting and this perfume is going to give you a longevity of more than 10 hours i have tested this perfume for around like 9 to 10 hours 8 to 9 hours in my office hours and it works perfectly fine projection is great it's going to project for the first one and a half to two hours like a beast and after that it becomes a little bit soft and it always stays around you once you're going to interact with people they will be able to smell this perfume so uh, performance wise it's good i think the original hawas is a little bit better in terms of performance but this is also great it's there is not much difference so performance wise no issue at all for the gender this is a pure masculine type of scent ladies will not going to love it but still they can try if they want for the age group uh, in the case of original hawas this is a perfume which can be used by youngsters but here in the case of hawas eyes you should be around the age of 22 22 plus to rock this perfume uh, you can try if you are around the age of 20 let's see if it can work with you if you like it or not 
uh, but in my humble opinion the best age should be around 22 or 22 years plus and now let's talk about uh, the season or weather so as i have told you earlier this is a perfume which is going to give you the best experience in colder season in colder weather uh, for the occasion for clubbing dates and weddings any kind of scenario wherever you want to be loud okay this is a sweet type of scent so you can know what will be the best scenario to use it and now let's come to the main point which is the price so the price of how was for him the original one is around 150 uae dirhams but here in the case of how was ice they have increased the price and i have paid 175 uae dirhams for this perfume they have increased the price by 25 uae dirhams in Hawas eyes so now it's totally up to you if you want to go with the original Hawas or if you want to go with Hawas eyes so this was my review and my little comparison between these two fragrances i hope this review is going to help you if you are thinking to buy any of these two perfumes or if you want to know that what are the differences what are the similarities in these two perfumes and which will be uh, the best option to buy so this was about Hawas and Hawas eyes the comparison and review i hope you liked it until the next video uh, take care and bye let me know in the comments if you have liked this review or not and i'm going to catch you in my another review with another great product so put your scent on stay fragrant and bye